Meet Richard Wineland, a college security officer by day. Wineland returns home each night to enjoy a unique hobby. You see, Wineland is an artist. Working out of his small shop in Dardanelle, Arkansas, Wineland crafts knives, gun stocks, and animal calls. But get this, Wineland starts it all with a magic marker and a bandsaw. Ah, that's just all I do. You can see right there where I drew one out. I was fixing to cut out and do. If it's something that someone has drawn for me, I'll make a pattern and go from that. Most of the time, I just kind of freehand, unless it's a certain one that I'm trying to follow, I just freehand and draw whatever I want. Um, you can you can get it however you want it. The guy who was um, like my adopted grandfather, he used to make knives for Jimmy Lyle because he was Jimmy Lyle's cousin, and he's the one that got me started on it. And I started out just actually ordering stuff through some of the knife books, and it just transposed into actually grinding and heat treating and doing all my own. When Wyland isn't hard at work on his blade crafting, he spends his free time working with his lathe, a carpentry machine that assists in a magical transition from a wooden block to a smooth and elegant animal call. I've played with the lathe, I always kind of wanted to, and I got into doing the, the calls, and then finally as I got some more stuff, I got to doing a couple bowls. That's just kind of fun. Makes a mess. I've done, uh, I've done, I don't know, maybe 75 duck calls and probably 50 deer calls. I've done a bunch of little uh, ink pens. Once a block of wood is cut to Wineland's preference, he clamps the rough, splintery block onto a lathe. For now, let's just sit back and watch a master at work. Anyone can do it. You don't have to have all these tools. You can do it with just a file and some sandpaper. I, I've never made a knife that to me was perfect. Now, you know, most people never even notice the flaws. Of course, Charles, the one that taught me, he always said you have to leave a couple flaws in it or they won't believe it's handmade. <laughs> 